But I'm the eighth elder because I've been in it for over 30 years. Women don't understand that. They can't have, they can't. She was trying to. Condemn me. She was trying to, no, she was trying to put us together because she wanted to try to teach me. Right, which which is me. out of order. It was like, woman, she got to talk to her head first. Exactly. Before she even speak to her elder, and I'm her elder. Right. Age don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. My experience in this walk is more than the woman's age. Right. Like, they got to understand that. That's why I'm chilled out. I listen to their tones, how they talk. It was getting upset. That's yeah. That's why they left. Yeah. They didn't want to start bringing that side of them up. That's so crazy that my husband is so righteous because she was, I didn't even notice that, but she was so out of order for trying to teach my husband. You, you can't, Israelites cannot teach men. Women cannot teach men. So when you were saying sit together so we can teach, you can't teach a man. And then you ask your husband, can you talk to my husband? You have to go and ask your husband, can you, can you speak with my husband? Doing this way too and long. you didn't do that, so you were a hundred percent out of order. By the Torah, by the Tanakh, you were out of order, sis. You see how that worked out? You were so invested on trying to correct me, but you had a whole beam in your eye the whole time. And we're gonna go by the Torah. You cannot ask to speak to my husband before you ask to speak to your husband. I didn't hear you say, Salakia, sister, let me ask my husband it would be okay for, for me to have a conversation with your husband. You didn't do that. So you are 100% out of order, daughter of Zion. That's why I say, humble yourself. That's why the Bible says, take the beam out your own eye before you correct somebody else. You didn't go by the Torah. You did not. No, she couldn't be able. She didn't have. She can't have no wife if she's proclaiming to be an Israelite because that's against the Torah. But she was asked. She was trying to act like a. Like you go sit by your husband. She was trying to act like if she was a prophetess or somebody that she was trying to counsel. A woman cannot counsel a man and a woman together without her husband there. She cannot. counsel us she can't tell me to go sit by my husband and scripture and try to counsel us she cannot she what she was doing was she when she first started off she was right she said i want to speak to you in private boom 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 because the scripture says you got to, if you have an alt with your brother and your sister you go to them in private first so she was right about that but when she asked for us to go sit by each other and try to counsel us that's out of order as for a daughter of zion because she think that because her age is older and she wasn't, no, that woman wasn't even, the woman who said that, she younger than you. And that's what I'm saying. Like, her, that means that she still don't got enough experience like I do. That's yeah. why I don't trip out. Like, I've been through it for way too long. Like, I'm tired of my brothers and sisters recently getting into the truth. Now they feel like they can go around and preach to everybody. When you still got issues yourself. Right. Don't talk that little sweet talk. When a real Israelite man can read through all that. Right. I still love, I don't even know her, but I still love her. Right. The most high gonna bless her if she's really true about what she's saying. Yes. If not, then I have no ill will. I don't have no ill will towards nobody. Mm -hmm. The most high gonna treat her as see fit. And one thing I wanted to correct her about is that the most high can't do nothing evil. Whichever sister said that, she gotta correct it. The most high can never do nothing evil. He's our father. He can do whatever he wanna do. Right. So we can't do nothing evil. Right. Exactly. No, I'm going to let you stay in the comments, sister. You said you want to speak to me on the back end. Talk to me on the back end. Do what your Torah told you to do. Be respectful to the Torah. Because if you come up here with all of this negative energy that's in these comments, they want to see us argue. So I'm not going to allow you to sin against the most high. I'm going to keep you in the comments. And if you want to speak to me, According to Torah, please talk to me. Um, do I have another phone? We can talk now. See, you out of order, sis. I can get off live. You want to talk to me now? I can get off live. But I'm not going to have a conversation in front of these people. And have you sin against the, the, the Bible. Shalom. I, you, I'm, fo I'm following you. 
I'm following you. So if you send me a text message while I'm on live with your number, I can get off and talk to you. And that's how us Israelites handle any type of, that's how we handle it. And that's all you guys have is opinions. I seen two Israelite women up here. One, she needs to, you know, she's she she was, she said our thoughts. I said her thoughts. We were we working on it. The rest of these people, most of the people in here, don't have no religion. They don't keep no religion. They say they Christians. They don't keep it. Like these are people that still celebrate Christmas, still celebrate Halloween. I can't even learn from you. We're going to start there. When you stop eating pork, swine, crustaceans, and stop celebrating Christmas and Halloween, then we can have a conversation. First there. Because at least I took a recognition of that. And being true to that. So we can have, you can build with me when you are living at least by that. Stop eating that, that swine. Did I get a message? No, I didn't get no message. So, yeah. Like, you know, as I was saying, when I'm live and I'm showing you guys, you know, letting you guys into my life and stuff like that, you get to see everything. You get to see the ups, the downs. You get to see the the way up the mountain. You get to see why I'm climbing this mountain. Sometimes I'm stopped. Sometimes I'm going to the wrong door. Sometimes I go back through that same door. I have to go that I went out the wrong way and come back through the right way. Sometimes while going up this mountain, I'm distracted. Sometimes I'm set in the same spot for a while and I have to sit there and learn something. But the point is that I'm moving and I don't owe anybody anything. But what I'm saying is that when you are walking this truth, you when you're going through this, this, this truth and you're walking, and especially with me being so transparent that I am, you're going to see the ups, the downs, when I'm mad, when I'm good, when I'm angry, when I'm frustrated. That's what you see when you see broadcasters. When we when we let y'all into our lives and you guys are watching us like we the next episode on HBO. You get to see all of that. You get to see the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. You get to see all of that. And that's what I'm saying. You can't sit up here and say, oh, you're just trying to, oh, you're a horrible person because you've seen some highs and some lows. You're going to see that. I'm a broadcaster. I'm letting you into my life. Same thing with the marriage. You're going to see ups, downs, highs, lows. Me and my husband can be having a good month. And then the next following month, we can get into an argument. And that argument may be me leaving for a couple of days and coming back. And we, when I come back, we may be as googly eyed as ever. But that's what it is. Ups, downs, highs, and lows. But you're watching it. It's being broadcast. I'm a broadcaster. I'm a, so, I'm a, I'm a content creator. So with, that's what you're seeing in real time, in real life. That transparency. Because if everybody else had a, the shining light on their life, you're going to see the ups. The downs. You're going to see when your kid got kicked out of school. You're going to see the time that they troubled in school. You're going to see when the time they couldn't read. And now, then they graduated. Now they in college. You're going to see the times when they probably was gay. And now they married to an actual person that they're supposed to be with. You're going to see all of that when they're sharing their life on social media. On camera. Y'all life is not on camera. Y'all sitting behind the camera and pointing. Put your life on the screen. Let me do what I do. Because angelic soul do everything live. So you let me see what you do when you wake up in the morning. Do you brush your teeth every day? Do you put on makeup every day? What do you do with your day? Did you cook every day? What do you do? Do you wash clothes? How do you fold them? Because when you're on live, people see that you're washing, washing clothes. They be like, she lives too much. Uh-uh. She used too much soap. Uh-uh. Did she just fold that towel that way? Uh-uh. 
Did she just do her hair? I can still see a track. Okay, sis. So when you're watching a social media, when you're watching content, a create content creator in this form, people have different contents. My content is my life. So that's not just, that's including everything about me. Ups, downs, highs, and lows. You're watching me in real time right now. This, this broadcast is live. So when I get up and I cook and I clean, all of us didn't know how to make an omelet at some point. All of us didn't know how to fry some chicken at some point. All of us didn't know how to work on a car at some point. But you're watching it in real time. So you get to see my first time making an omelet. You get to see my first time doing this type of hairstyle. You get to see that. You get to see it in real time. I don't know why Charlie lying to me. And I'm not 50. I'm not 45. I'm 29 years old. I have a long life ahead of me. I'm going to change 15 times before I get 50. I'm going to change 15 times before I become 50. So the same person that I am at 29 is not going to be the same person I'm at I am when I'm 32. It's just not going to happen. But you guys can have your opinions. But what you're not going to do is try to shove your opinions down my throat. This is my life. My life. You're watching me. You can say whatever you want. You can have how many opinions that you want. You're entitled to your opinion. But I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. Because it's still my life. I ain't got to take nothing that you say. I can take everything that you say. I can take it or leave it. Because it's my life. That's what happens when you're watching me. And that will be happening if you were to broadcast your life. So when y'all start to understand that part, that this is my life and you're watching me, and I can take your advice or leave it, then you will understand that welcome to watching TV. If you watch a Lifetime movie, you can, oh, that girl, I can't believe she went up in there. She knew that killer was in there. Why did she do that? Did she just fall? I would never went that way. I would have just had if, watching freaking Scream movie or watching fucking, um... Michael Myers. Oh my God, if that was me, I would have hid in the closet. I would have stabbed him here. I would have choked him there. Everybody is, when you're watching TV, you have an opinion about what you're watching. They don't change the movie. You think because y'all said that y'all would have hid in the closet, they're going to stop the movie and be like, well, we're going to put this right here. She gonna... No, you're going to continue to watch the movie and have your opinion. And then because it's so fascinating, you're going to turn into the next episode. You're going to see Michael Myers number six. And Michael Myers, number, Michael Myers number seven. And that's just how it is when you're watching. That just is. No, you didn't change anything. And that's what I think that you guys think. Y'all guys think that you changing anything. You didn't change something. You didn't change nothing. You don't have the power to make my life. God do. I don't even have the power to make my own life. I can plan and plan and work for something and work for something. And, sh and, and, and But guess what? I can go to school to college for four years and turn out to be a pharmacist. And I went to school to be a nurse. How many times did that happen? How many times people went to college for stuff and bragging about it? Oh, my kids in college don't even use their degree. So what you think gonna happen in life, life is life. Stuff happens. Stuff change. You can plan all day long. People plan to get up every day and go to work. Boom. They get into a car accident. They can't, they got to learn how to walk again. The same people that they was bragging about that love them, not even there to help them wipe their own ass. See how that work? Life. It happens to everybody. And you can plan it all the hell you want to and it's going to happen the way it's supposed to. And ain't no devil and no person on Bego or no person on Instagram or Facebook going to change that. Only God can. You know how many people don't shut up people's head and they still alive? People that should have been dead right now still walking around? When Karen, when your doctor told you that your son wasn't going to be able to live over five months and he, they still living? When your, your, your doctor told you that your breast cancer was going to take you out but you still breathing? So it's, you can't control what just because there's things that's presented to you. 
It's what God wants. And that's why I ain't mad. Because according to y'all, I'm supposed to be locked up somewhere, but I'm still breathing. I'm still living. According to y'all, I'm supposed to be in some mental hospital. But I'm still chilling. Still looking cute. Still in my right mind. So you can't, what you think is going to happen is not going to happen. Just turn into the next episode. Just watch the next season. Watch what's in front of you. Stop looking at what's going to, oh, you're trying to predict what's going to happen to me. From off of the stuff that happened to me four months ago. You can't predict that. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. And you're going to watch me? Or you gonna leave? Either is either one or the two, but your opinions don't make me shit. It ain't gonna change nothing. I'm still gonna wake up and do what the hell I want to do. And because I had this content where I did on purpose where I wanted you guys to be so invested. I said, let me, what can I do to have people keep watching me? Share my story, share my life. That's what I said. And boom, now y'all, what can I do? I can start asking, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? And what do I do about this? And what do I do about that? To make you think that I couldn't do shit. Do you really believe in your right mind that if I wasn't on live that I wasn't going to make an omelet? I want you to think that. That's my part of my content. I want you to think that you're important enough that you, if you walk me through every step, that you feel relevant. I already done told you that already. And now you think I'm oblivious that I don't know shit. You the fool for believing it. You are the fool for believing it. I've been on my own since I was 17 years old. Got pregnant at 15, had a baby at 16. You a fool if you think I don't know. You are a fool. Now, some things I don't know. That's true. But guess what? That omelet was going to get made whether I had help or not. No, I wasn't making um, natural food for my babies. Some You guys were giving me advice that we're cooking meals and stuff like that. I'm happy that you guys gave me that. But guess what? Shalom Blue. Guess what? If I wasn't on here, <laughs> if I raise, if I have a 13-year-old child, who you think fed her? Who you think took her to her doctor's appointments? Because the, the government wasn't going to let her 13 years not ever go to the doctor. So at some point, she went to the motherfucking doctor. At some point, she went to the next grade. At some point, she got there and passed to the next grade. At some point, she had passed. At some point, she had bras. At some point, she had her hair done. At some fucking point, 13 years, you a fool if you think that it was new to me. Like, I was just oblivious on knowing how to raise children. You are a fool. Now, there are different things that I could have changed to make the situation as being a parent better. But she didn't wake up and be 13 overnight, baby. I'm going to pick up my marriage license tomorrow. You a fool if you think that these children that just existed in my life for these long, this long and never went to the doctor, never had no self-care, never. Y'all crazy. You was a fool. <laughs> and I said, shit, of course I could have went on. Um, Of course I could have went on YouTube and TikTok and looked up how to make it. But why should I? When y'all can ask you. Of course, I could have looked up on a way to do it, but why do I do it if I can ask you? So I call myself engaging with you guys and, sh and asking you questions to engage with you instead of me having to go do it. That's all that was. And you took it as me just. Oh, and Jug is just, just she don't even know how to do this and that and that and that. And she girl, if you wasn't here, I would have to Google that shit like I've been doing. Y'all think y'all only been in my life for what? Eight months? What was Angelic Soul doing before eight months? Have you ever thought about that?
But anyways, um, you know how many cars I had? Six. How many houses I had? Eight. This ain't nothing new. I just call myself giving, making, a, when I go live as a social media influencer and a content creator, I like to engage with the people in the comments. So I may ask y'all, how would you do this? What food, what, what should I wear? Y'all think this cute? Should I add more salt? Should I add more pepper? Like that's me engaging with the comments. But y'all think it's because I just, at, just so dumb that I can't even Google the shit. Like, of course I can Google it. I'm just engaging with y'all. And that's what make my content content. That's why I got people talk about me every single day. And got them so involved like that. No, I didn't say that I didn't know. I did not. That was my first time making an omelet. But because I didn't really know, I never did it before. But what I'm saying is if I wasn't on live, I would have had to Google the shit. That's all I'm saying. A lot of stuff that I didn't know or because I had lack of experience in, if you guys wasn't here, I would still have to go figure it out myself. That's what I'm saying. So I am grateful for the advice that they was giving me, people giving me. But even if you wasn't here, I would still have to figure it out. That's what I'm saying. Maybe can you marry me? <laughs> Like, <sighs> so I mean, I guess you need to talk. Y'all so used to people coming in and giving content that we're doing uh, already, like having their content ready. Like, they're not coming in. Most people come on and do cooking shows they like okay you guys this is what i'm cooking today these are all my ingredients they don't ask the comments what should i add what should i cook like they're not doing that they already got their content already planned out but that's not my content my content is me engaging with you guys so i ask you guys every step of the way just to give a different way of cooking because everybody cooked differently so i'll be like okay what would you do what would you add stuff like that so and y'all took it for me it's weird. It's weird. You're so sweet, babe. <laughs> I'm going to flat iron my baby here. Just because you wouldn't do it doesn't mean... The, my baby was seven months and I flat ironed her ear to put some pup balls in it. Some, some cute little prints. What's wrong with that? Not a damn thing. Just because you wouldn't agree to it doesn't mean anything. Like y'all, every parent don't parent the same way. Would it, just because you wouldn't do it. See, I wouldn't suck a lot of dicks that, dicks that y'all suck. But I can't judge y'all. I'm just saying. I sure won't be eating that swine like y'all eating it. A lot of stuff y'all do, I won't do. Yeah, if you see Amy, you, you can ask the question and won't get kicked. Go ahead. Do it right there. I'm just saying, like, it's a lot of stuff I wouldn't do that y'all do. But it's, it's a lot of stuff that I do that y'all wouldn't do. People's lives are different. <laughs> yeah. I don't put y'all down all the time. Y'all be trying to put me down. Hello, Muriel, um, and to her soon-to-be husband. Um, I'm not of your faith or religion, but I just have two points I want to make without you interrupting, and then I'm a drop. One, I keep hearing you throwing this word virtuous around, but if you were a virtuous woman and you honor your husband as you say you do, 
then um, first of all, you said you were saving yourself until you both get married. I can understand that. The, the Christian religion says that also. But my question to you is, without you having to answer me back, why would you come online wait, 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 wait. and degrade your husband? Wait, 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 wait. Why would, why would you, you come online and that? degrade your husband? Degrade your husband. Talk about how he sexed you up to get his ex mad and to get him mad. What? Because now you're discussing your sexual life to us in the comments. Number two. I'm not yeah, understanding the simple fact that I'm not understanding the simple fact that why do you have to? I mean, I understand. I can understand why your Israelite sisters asked you this question. Why? First of all, what you're not going to do is you're not going to tell me that you're going to ask me a question. I can't respond. We're going to start there because that's not how you have a conversation. That's number one. So you out of order. So that's, that's why I dropped you, sis. Number two, I already told you guys that. When we go, we are building this content up to want to allow people to understand our Israelite life. Because a lot of people are not used to the Israelite life. So if me and my husband is planning a baby and I'm saying what I have to do to plan a baby, even if it goes as far as in the near future, some women, not even for us, because I don't believe that's going to be for us. But some women have to go through IVF. So all I'm doing is. I'm showing you guys my process of getting pregnant with my husband. It's not nothing, not righteous about that. And we're gonna, I'm gonna continue to do it unless my husband tells me not to. A lot of women are barren. A lot of women ask me, "How did you have twins?" When I had twins, how did you have twins? Oh my god! So when I share the process and I say, "Well, this is how I." this is how that happened a lot of women be wanting to know a lot of women can't have children trying to figure out how they can have and how i have so many so i'll be telling them well this is how this is how i have to do it so y'all just oh my god these people are so jealous like i just like girl Hi. Hi. Um, is your husband around right now? Why are you asking a married woman to speak to her husband? How about how may I help you, sister? Because you owe you, because you owe you that thick ass voice when you're around when you're not. So I want to know, girl. You're jealous. <laughs> Over here looking like Jigglypuff. If my husband was seeing you, he would tell you that, girl, you need to lose some weight. Because being that fat is, 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 is not good for your health, girl. Why are you trying to talk about me? It's gluttonous. You got too much gluttony going on in your life. And gluttony is one of the seven daily sins, girl. We can start there. It's an abomination to God. And it's true. See? I'm just saying it is true. It is true. It's true. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so so put the, the okay somebody. Okay. Hello, Angelic.
Shalom. Um, I'm not coming with any animosity, anything. I've been married eight years. I have three children with my husband. Um, just a curious question. I'm a Muslim woman by marriage, you know, I converted from my husband. Are you allowed to be on camera showing your hair and your body? Um, I can show my hair because I'm, we're not Muslim. Um, I can show my hair. And as far as my body goes, we don't cover up like what Muslim women do. We don't cover up everything mm -hmm. but our eyes. We can wear clothes as long as it's modest. And when I'm in a house, like I put my pajamas on. So like if I'm outside, I make sure like I'm, you know, I can show skin. I don't have to. So because with the Muslim religion, I see that you guys literally even go to the beach with nothing yeah. showing but your eyes. So that's not our religion. Um, we can show skin as long as it's modest. Like, for an example, this dress I got on, my back is out, and it's still considered virtuous because I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I pull up my dress to make sure my boobs ain't hanging all the way out. But I can wear stuff that's cute as long as it's not, like, booty short all the way up to my, you can see my coochie print. You know, like, that. that's not in public. Okay. I thought modest meant like no cleavage would be showing um, basically your forearms, you can show your calves, but nothing else because that's sacred and it's supposed to be for your husband. Yeah, I think your definition of modesty could be like off. Um, we don't we don't have to cover up with a sheet. We we just don't. We can enjoy our clothes, enjoy wearing nice stuff without having everything covered but our eyes that's that's not our religion to cover everything up but our eyes okay yeah that was all i was just curious thank you you're welcome my and my phone about to go there i told you guys that our um stuff is off alone I'm here, you guys. I'm looking it up in Hebrew. Give, give me one moment.
Okay. The word modest, word modesty and true means good behavior. That's what it means. And let me tell you the, the word for it. Hold on. It means it the the word you guys can look this word up. It means cosmias, 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 and it means orderly and good behavior. That's what the word modesty means in Hebrew. Orderly and good behavior. That's what the scripture means. Modesty. Cosmias. Mm -hmm. That's what the word modesty means. In Second Titus. Hey, good afternoon. But my phone is on three.